Well guys, welcome back to the 1980s, spring planting. Buck already beat me out to the field. He already started planting. I must have slept in. But anyways, I'm gonna go see what's up with him. We have a lot to do. I gotta get back in the planter, start planting. And then, if you guys see right here, there's a waterway here. And the waterways, yeah, it prevents erosion a little bit, but this field's so flat, we really don't need one here. And it stops all of our hired workers. So, we're gonna plow that waterway up, make it part of the field. And then over here we have a terrace. Yeah, terrace doesn't do much. It's just, it's just annoying as heck. So I'm going to take a six bottom plow and plow that up. That way we can just go back and forth across the field. But so far we got our wheat sprayed. Bucks fishing, planting corn here. I have the beans planted over here. I'm thinking we're going to field, turn field 29 into all beans. It's corn right now. We got the guy field cultivating. But I'm probably going to plant beans there. And then I'm planting some soybeans over here. So we got a lot done. And we also purchased field 20. We're going to have a lot of corn. Buck's got his 50-20 and he's rolling. How's she going, Buck? Oh, uh, if you saw that pass, that's basically to the left of where I'm at right now. The one to my right is actually straight on with these rows. So I ended up fixing the line. So now I'm going to be going in line. I'm just going to finish the rest of that pass. And then the rest of these should all be in perfectly straight rows. It's not going to be crooked. So it's just kind of a planting issue that I had going on there. I thought I was going straight, but that 42, it just, it'd be so cockeyed. It was digging ruts to where it looked like I was going straight, but then when it flattened itself out, you could tell it wasn't. Okay. Do we have a roller? It'd be cool to get a roller for this field. It's saying we need a roller. Uh, not that I know of. So after this, could you go to field 18? It's the contoured stuff? Uh, yeah, it should be fine. Okay. I thought that was already corn, though. It was in soybeans last year. Needs to go to corn this year. I don't know how many more passes I'll have with this thing. I'm probably going to need about one more tank full on all the hoppers or the whatever, and it should be fine. Okay. We're back in the 47. Yes, it's weedy. We need to spray it. Our field cultivator does not have time to knock out all these acres, so we're just going to no-till plant into it. That's totally fine. It's going to do good. And then this is kind of a small patch. And then we get in the larger pass, patch. Probably go tear up those uh, terraces, too. This drill does good. It's it's about as wide as Buck's 12 row. So we basically have two 12 row planters. So we're getting kind of a lot done. As long as you don't screw up like me. Okay, we are done planting soybeans into this field. Should probably stop all this folds. And actually, we have some slurry in that tank from the hogs. So what we're gonna try and do is spread some slurry. I got a neighbor that has a slurry spreader. So we're gonna borrow that. I wish we had more tractors because basically I got to unhook this real quick, go grab the slurry tanker, and then once we're done with that, hook back up to this. We're going to back this up, get her unhooked. So we're heading down the road, going to go pick up my buddy's slurry spreader. It's perfect size. It's like, it's tiny. Well, it's not tiny. They're all big, but it, it's, it's perfect for this tractor is what I'm saying. So he's going to charge us basically 1200 bucks to rent it from him, but we'll get all of our slurry spread. We got the slurry spreader. Like I said, they make a lot bigger in ones than this, and that tractor can't handle one that big. We don't have too much slurry to spread. Basically, cattle don't give off slurry, they give off manure, which for some reason they're not giving off manure, but these hogs give off slurry here. I'm hoping this works. We're gonna pu pull around to the slurry tank. I don't think this is for cattle. I think this is for hogs too, I'm guessing. Usually I think you have a pump, you have a pump that comes out of here, but for this game, it allows you to just back up here and fill the slurry tanker. So we're gonna back up, fill it. There we go. And that's pretty much all we got in there. So that one's empty. So this tank is empty, or this uh, this hog barn is empty with slurry. Buck's starting to plant. I'm gonna hit a couple of these and just, I'm curious to see how this is gonna yield. Okay, here we go. We're going. It uses it pretty quick, it seems like. Here, I'm gonna stop this for a sec and just see the difference. So, oh, it smells horrible. So fertilized 50% when we look at this. What is this fertilized over here? This is fertilized like 0%. I've come to realize slurry and manure, it's cool. It's very cool, but I mean, it does not save you much money at all. Yeah, a couple of strips here, we save money on fertilizer, but man, fertilizer is pretty cheap in this game. So unless this yields like amazing, it's just, it's not worth it to get manure. Like, like it is in real life. In real life, like hog manure is really valuable and stuff, but in this game, it's just, it doesn't really matter that much. And there we go, we're out of manure. It's like one pass up and down the field. It just, it is not worth it. Like I thought it was cool. That's why I love having livestock. Cause you get, it's vertical integration farming and you actually get manure from it. But it just, in farm sim, they don't give you enough credit for the fertilizer. Like that was probably a hundred bucks worth of anhydrous. It wasn't that much. 
Okay, so what we're gonna try and go do is pull out of our other pit, get all the manure out of there, and then we'll have our manure spread. So, if it worked like this on the last one, I should be able to back up the slurry spreader to it, and it should allow me to fill. There we go. Okay, perfect. And we're full. Hey, Buck, you on the CB? No. You're not? No. Hey, what do you say we save the rest of this manure for Daniel's uh, yard at his house? The last thing I need right now on my record is defacing someone's property. He deserves it, though. We could spread a little across his driveway. Just because he deserves it does not mean we need to act on it. Well, you got to set people straight, Buck. He stole your Trans Am, man. He's going to cost you a lot of money. Yeah, but I'd rather have to fix my TA than be sitting in the slammer for the next 10 years. Okay, we got our last load going on. Only 44% full. And we can officially say we'll be completed one strip. Hopefully by the end of this. And we're about running out of the last here. And then we'll return this. And there we go. We're out of manure. Okay, so we got the tanker returned. Gonna hook back up to the drill. Fuck, why are you washing your tractor in the middle of planting season? Oh, I don't know. Cause someone decided that I'd give it a brown hood. That does look like a good setup though. Gotta give it to you. Let me know when I care. Buck just does not give a crap. He just goes down the road with his planter unfolded. I like it. We have a giant field we're gonna do. Probably go to soybeans field 29 here. Ooh, that hired worker's almost done. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna need a lot of seed for this. It's gonna go all soybeans, or we could go half of it soybeans, half of it corn. But I think we're gonna have a lot of corn, so we might as well do soybeans. And we're getting the planter filled up. So we got seed filled, and then now we need to fill up with liquid fertilizer. We got liquid fertilizer in the back of Buck's truck, seed and chemical in the back of mine on the trailer. So I'll back up to this liquid fertilizer, get this filled. Oh shoot, we're out. Okay, at some point we're gonna have to go get more liquid fertilizer. We're starting the headlands of the next field. David's still going in the uh, cultivator over there, so we're still rolling. I'm basically what I figured out for the workers is just do the end rows. And then once you knock out all the end rows, they can handle the field pretty good. Otherwise, the hired workers, they just turn around so weird if you don't end up doing the end rows. Okay, we got the hired worker going in the planter. I am going to go pick up some more seed, fertilizer, and chemical. And we're going to get this trailer pretty much loaded. And that should give us enough to be done planting. Okay, we have a bunch of seed, fertilizer, chemical. Oh yeah, we got her loaded down. The old Ford. She does good though. Just take the corner slow, otherwise the trailer likes to tip. Literally, I've had this thing almost tip over and tip the whole truck over. We'll pull in the field here and just park this at the end, and then once our hired helper gets done, we'll have him fill up. Okay, this is almost empty on fertilizer. We're gonna back up here, top off with seed and fertilizer. If you could run the sprayer, we gotta spray with herbicide and put another fertilizer round on it. Yeah, too. Oh, what? What was running the tank last? Fertilizer. Well, what do you want me to run first? Because either way, whichever one I do, if it's the opposite, I have to flush it out. Yeah, I do fertilizer. Run fertilizer in it. So, I'm headed over to a buddy's house to pick up a plow we're going to rent. It's going to be sketchy as heck because we're going to load it in the back of Buck's truck here. Because it's a long drive for a tractor. Okay, we got the plow loaded up. It actually fit pretty good. I wasn't sure how the heck we were going to get this on, but we basically have it resting on the roof. And then the back wheel kind of just guides it back here. Just... Don't tell Buck, please. Oh, son of a gun. Oh, hey, Buck. Really? What? Sorry, gotta get going. Okay, so we got Daryl out there around the 47. We got Buck spraying liquid for the fertilizer 32%. We are rolling. And then I'm gonna rip up this uh, terrace here. That way we can farm up and down. Basically, what we're trying to do is turn over this grass. We'll probably hit it a couple times with a field cultivator, kind of level it out, and then we'll be able to farm just straight up and down the hill. She's working up pretty good. Buck's coming with the field cultivator and the Alice, and he's gonna level this off. Okay, we're taking out this kind of like waterway that cuts apart the field here. That way we can farm it back and forth real nice. So then we'll probably have to come back, level it off, and then replant it probably with the planter real quick. So it's totally good though. So we're done plowing. I'm gonna stick the plow back here. This is kind of the everything shed, the cold storage shed. I have no idea how we're gonna get that pailer out. For the guy who has to pull it out, I'm gonna make it as tough as possible on him. Wait a sec, Buck. Wait a sec. I need to borrow that. I just need a little more. I got, I got the headland that I plowed up. I need to level that out. Okay, so I gotta feel cultivate this stuff we plowed here and then Buck's gotta come back and plant it. We're done leveling that off and that field's gonna be a nice field that we can farm up and down it. It's gonna be perfect. 
we're pretty much playing. All we're doing is fishing up field 29, and we're going to be done planting. Like, we got it done in two days. Not bad. April 1st, April 2nd, and we are done. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and hey, we'll see you in the next one.